All right, so we have to get this thing started with Deontay Brown and the nickname Cornbread. Former Alabama receiver Mac Hereford knows all about the nickname, so we're doing this NFL draft profile on Deontay Brown. Give me, give me the lowdown on cornbread because first of all, I love cornbread and my sensories go off because I'm like, ooh, I'm hungry, I want some cornbread, but do explain. Well, it's not cornbread anymore, it's just big bread or bread. <laughs> uh, it was cornbread originally, so when we came in, uh, you know, freshman year, Deontay came in at the same time I did, and we went, you know, like, to the rec or whatnot, or we would play like, basketball, and the first thing I realized, and this is a little bit backtracking, but this is kind of a cool story, is he's 415 pounds. So like you have this what? massive, I think it was around there, it was like 400 something pounds, absolute, just, you know, just huge. But the craziest thing is we're getting in there and we have, we're playing hoops and I have like a Snapchat video of it saved in my memories, but he's doing like these pivots, these turns, and he's looking like a professional point guard doing these kind of oh things. My gosh. And that's where I was like, dad, like this guy's the real deal. You know, he's gonna be just incredible here. Um, but with that size, he came in and we're doing 110s in the summer and like he was struggling. I mean, look, you're carrying that much weight to be running 110s and conditioning. It's not gonna be easy, you know? Imagine like putting on a bunch of different weights or whatever. So that's what he was having to do. And so he would kind of be, you know, sometimes tailing the crew and a lot of guys would give him slack or like heckle him a little bit. And that's where they started to call him cornbread. And they're like, come on cornbread. Like, you know, like <laughs> you gotta do this or that. And like, you know, a little bit of haz verbal hazing, you could say, um, and it just kind of stuck there. And so it's kind of funny because the nickname, he continues to play and he continues to get better and he worked extremely hard at cutting down his weight, doing the right things, the nutrition staff, you know, like Miss Amy, uh, who works there, was on a great plan with him, helped him a ton um, and he invested into it and did a really good job of just, you know, grinding to get, like, you know, make weight. Um, again, back to making weight that freshman year remember a time we were outside of Bryce Lawn Apartments, which is where like they had us when Bryant was getting renovated, and Deontay Brown is carrying Giles Amos oh, gosh. on his shoulders. We're walking around, this is at, at night during you know summer training because he wants to lose weight. And so we're carrying him around wow. like, come on Deontay, he's carrying around Giles on his back, walking down the streets, and I'm like, what is going on right here? Like, this is crazy, <laughs> he really wants it. Um, and he continued to improve to the point where when you had that speed already, and then you cut down on that weight. I mean, you can only imagine what he's able to do. And so I think it was my senior year that he comes in uh, in the middle of the season and immediately made an impact. And I remember he's, you know, he pulls better than any, you know, offensive lineman in the country, comes around and just smacks guys, like absolutely crushes them because like I've said, he's fast and he's big and he's able to do that and make the right moves. I, I you know, He's one of the best linemen in the draft, and I cannot wait to see where he goes just because he works hard, he's a you know, good guy, um, and, and he's done some incredible things at Alabama. Yeah, and right now he's listed at 6'4", 350, so obviously he's dropped that <laughs> weight, but still uh, doing things, so now he's just the big bread, which I love. Big uh, bread, yeah, I forgot to mention, that's where the nickname <laughs> the went The big to. bread, yeah, you, you gave us that little scoop, that little intel. This is interesting, a little interesting stat that I read. He played 757 snaps last season, missed only two assignments, missed only two assignments while committing four penalties. What does that say about just his ability? He's consistent. He gets the job done. Yeah, I mean, he just, he, he doesn't really make mistakes. He's focused. He's so like concentrated when he gets on the field. Like, it's just funny to see that and hear that stat because in the locker room, he's this goofy guy. I have like videos of him doing these dances or whatnot uh, and just cracking jokes. But when he gets on the field and when it comes to football, he's taking his job seriously and he's consistently doing it well. So it's like, he's doing the assignments. I think that's the first thing that coaches look at is like, okay, does he know where to line up? Does he know, you know, what the play is? And in this case, Deontay does know all that, but also brings like the crazy good skill set along with it. So that's really cool to see and uh, hear about. Download the Milo's mobile app today and receive a free cheeseburger after your first purchase.